Hi, I'm Randy Vance, and thanks for joining me today on my dock. You know, when you get out in the boat, what you want to have is some of the sand and the breeze and the sun. But sometimes the sun can be too much. That's why at Boating Lab, we looked at four really cool sunshades that you can add to your boat. Whether you've got a T-top like this one, or a bimini top, or an open cockpit. The first one I want to talk about is called the Slim Shade. That's with two M's, slimshade.com. It's $249 and the second least expensive sunshade we've seen. What's cool about it is that it works kind of like a tent. You have segmented poles that snap together on a shock cord and you slide them up through the rod holders, then you slide the fabric over the poles and it spreads out over the cockpit. We liked it really well. The elastic straps held it down to the cleats, gave us nice shade, and the flag pattern was a cool look. It also comes in mahi-mahi, two different colors of a compass rose, navy blue, royal blue, black, and probably a custom color if you can choose one. Now the second one that we looked at was called the Shade Fin by Taco Marine. This was the most expensive shade on our list, but for good reason. First, the Shade Fin is extremely durable. It's built to fasten into the rod holders on the top of your T-top. There's a locking collar underneath to keep it securely in place. And once there, you can drive the boat up to around 30 miles an hour with the shade extended. That gives you shade whether you're on the sandbar or at rest. Now it's 1149, it comes in either a white color or a black. What we liked about it is that once you mounted it on the rod holder, you spread the arms out and it's nice and taut shading the whole cockpit. We also put it down in the rocket launchers on the leaning post that got you a more universal coverage, but you kind of had to duck under it. There's options for mounting it in the gunwale rod holders as well, and we like those because if the sun's coming in from the side, you can block it out. Now the next shade that we looked at is called the anchor shade, and it's the least expensive one that we tested, and we thought it was cool. If you have an open cockpit boat, you simply extend it like an umbrella and there's four secure tie downs to fasten it to your cleats and keep it in exactly the place you need it to be. The pole in the center telescope so you can have it as high or as low as you want. And while it's great for after you're at anchor or on the sandbar, it's not designed to be driven around with. Nevertheless, it provides outstanding shade and in our test, we used it in conjunction with the T-top. Now finally, there is the T-top shades for boats. This one comes with heavy-duty telescopic poles that fit in the rod holders. We use the shotgun rod holders in this case. Then you fasten this stretchy elastic canopy to the rod holders on your hardtop. It's spread out completely over the cockpit, and because it's stretchy, you have a lot of leeway on how wide a boat you can cover with it. It's capable of handling speeds up to about 30 miles an hour. In our case, we covered it with a 4x5 shade, but they make them larger. They start at 549 and they go all the way up to 749, depending on the size you choose. I almost forgot to mention the portability of these shades. Every one comes with a dedicated case. The Slim Shade is a compact little map case. The Anchor Shade comes in a canvas bag and so does the T-Top Shade. Even the larger and heavier shade fin comes with its own custom bag and it's mesh on one side, canvas on the other for both durability and ventilation. Now that's four great sun shades for your boat to cool the temp down a little bit. I'm Randy Vance, the director of Boating Lab and thanks for joining me on my dock.